way you uh, script it, right? 18 to 3 in the fourth quarter to get the win? Yeah, I plan to be down uh, by what, 10, 15 in the third? No, uh, but honestly, just so proud of our team and the way that we, we kept battling. I mean, obviously they came out on fire. 10 threes in the first half. I felt like they didn't miss anything. Um, I think our defensive urgency and, and execution could have and should have been better, um, but we stayed locked in. And I thought a, a ton of players stepped up. I thought Tessa had a great game. Obviously, Alex's stat line, unreal. She does everything. And there are things on the stats. She was on the floor all the time, loose balls. She just, oh, I just love coaching her. Um, and then the other two that you're not going to see a ton on the stat line and didn't get a ton of minutes, but I really thought they were the difference in the game, were Lydia and Emma. They came in in the post, they sealed hard, they made good decisions, and then when we went into that 2-3, they helped us protect the rim. Um, I, I, I can't say enough just about everyone in the way, and the way everyone did what they needed to do tonight. When they're busy hitting all those threes, how important was it to make every free throw that you did in order to try to stay within, you know, fighting distance or, you know, whatever at that point? Yeah, when they're scoring on every possession, and a lot of them are threes, you you have to score. And, and if that's at the free throw line or whatever it is you do, you have to um, keep it close, per se, uh, especially against a really good team like this. And we did just enough when we weren't playing well to keep it close enough where when we went on our run, all right, now we're just down a couple. Now we're in it. All right, now we're tied. Now we're up. And then the whole momentum changed. Obviously, Alex is just, I mean, she's giving you everything she possibly has. It's, and then some. Yeah. Uh, just, again, kind of mentioned like her leadership and what she's able to give you. I, I can't say enough about her. I, I've already talked to it just in this interview about her, and that's just statistically what she does on the floor, but off the floor, it is. It's the leadership. It's, she can tell people things and they're gonna listen because she works that hard. Like, you can't not respect her, right? Uh, so, incredible leader for us. And I praise the Lord that we got her back for a sixth year because she was thinking about it and wasn't sure, uh, but yeah, I'm very grateful to be able to coach her. You touched on, on Scheibel, and she was so good in the second half for you when you needed her to be. Yeah. Lydia, uh, you're, you're right. She, she she just did the little things that we needed her to. Like I said, you're going to look at the stat line and be like, hmm, she didn't make a difference, but well, she did. And for her to stay mentally ready, because she hasn't played a ton of minutes, right? Same with Emma. Like, she hadn't played, and she didn't get to play a ton of minutes. But for them to be able to stay mentally ready and locked in for the minutes that they did get, that's why I'm so proud of them, and that's why I think they were really the difference makers. Talk about, in both their cases, the way they were able to control things down low when you absolutely needed them to. Right. The Southwest is a guard-heavy team, and that's why they're tough to guard, but that means our advantage is inside. And that's why I did think Lydia and Emma turned it around, and then once the momentum shifted, I thought our other post player, Sarah Dax, I mean, went to work. She had some great finishes that, that created the separation after Lydia and Emma changed the momentum. Bella's not scoring for you right now, but that's not the worst thing in the world because you're getting to see so much coming out of everybody else. Exactly. Every player is going to have an off night. I don't care if it's Michael Jordan, if it's Kobe, like they had off nights. And then who's gonna step up? And that's what's great about our team. We have a million players that can do it. I shouldn't say a million, we have 15 <laughs> that can step up, um, can make shots, can do what they need to do. Um, and I know our teammates trust each other. So even Bella on this off night, I know she knew her teammates were gonna get it done for her. And that's a great feeling to have as a player like herself. Um, when you can feel a ton of pressure, she was voted all conference, first team, preseason. So that can be a ton of pressure. But knowing that your teammates are going to step up, that relieves that where she doesn't have to feel like it's all on her. Ashlyn's a very different team. How do you prep for them now? Ashlyn is exactly the opposite of Southwest, but still unbelievably tough to guard. 
they are post heavy. They have four unreal post players and they're gonna bury you inside and they're gonna keep getting it inside. So I'm so glad Lydia and Emma stepped up like they did because they should have confidence and they're gonna need to play and they're gonna need to step up um, and get stops on those post players. Uh, we're gonna have to bring better defensive urgency to start um, and just stay just as aggressive and confident offensively. Thanks, Coach.